I have always been curious, how does the food you eat turn into poop? You scoop each spoon of food into your mouth and chew. Also use saliva to soften food. There is a switch in the throat called the pharynx. Swallow the food and it will go down automatically. Food then enters this esophagus. It's the only way to the stomach. Stomach looks like a bag of water. It's just full of stomach acid and digestive enzymes. They break down food into fine grain few of them. Form a glue-like mixture. Then to the small intestine. Food continues to be divided and absorbed here. Our body absorbs fat from food through the small intestine wall. Nutrients like protein and carbohydrates. The small intestine of an adult is about 5 meters long, so food has a long way to go. The rest of the absorbed nutrients go to the large intestine. Moisture continues to be absorbed here. Make the sebum thicker and firmer. Until it becomes a hard shit. Finally arrived at the chrysanthemum position. Because there are many nerves near chrysanthemums, so when shit activates. Gemma meal sends signals to the brain's central nervous system. That's when we knew it was time to play tuba. Finally press the drain button. These shits have been washed into the sewers. Whoever invented the toilet is a genius. Since then, the size has become more elegant. Do you know how toilets work? The toilet is made up of a water tank and a toilet bowl. Now remove the tank and see what's inside. This is the water inlet of the tank, with control rubber valve. Install another battery. When pressure is applied to, water inlet will be blocked. Otherwise, it will release water. Water goes through the faucet into the tank. Now seal the water inlet. Add an outer plastic handle. Then install the screw on the water inlet. The other end of the spike handle is the float. When the inside of the tank starts to swell, while the float floats, it also slowly touches the top of the water until the tank is filled with water. Finally install a plastic bowl and connect with flush handle. After flushing, water will flow out through the faucet below. When the water level is lower than the percent value, the water inlet will open until the water fills the tank again. Let's practice it now. This damn thing fell in the toilet. You press the flush button. Strong stream of water coming out through the faucet. Throw this nasty shovel in. Sewer labyrinth. After that, the tank will recharge. So you can continue using it next time. Then here's the problem. How can we avoid seeing the tail flares? MRI is undoubtedly the greatest invention. In the history of medicine, we still have to rely on imports for this device. It can see lesions in different parts of our body. What is the principle of this? In fact, most of our bodies are made up of water. Hydrogen nuclei and water. When we lie on the machine, the original chaotic river of atoms, under the interference of strong magnetic field, start to line up and move in the same direction. Different tissues have different water content. The diseased tissue also changed the water composition of the area. The resulting signal can then be picked up by the machine. After the transformation through digital regeneration technology, you can see this familiar image. The hydrogen nucleus in the human body will return to its original shape. Therefore, magnetic resonance will hardly harm the human body. Then why MRI? Is it possible to scan a certain part? Thanks to the radio frequency coil, it sends pulse signal to part. Only in this way can the human body be stimulated to resonate. When the magnetic resonance device is running, create a very strong magnetic field, up to 3 tesla. In comparison, ordinary magnets are only 0.001 tesla. In order to avoid the occurrence of reverse magnetic metal, failure to do so may result in serious injury. Who invented the really smart lie detector? Physiological changes happen when people lie. This change is not controlled by the brain. And the lie detector keeps track of these changes. To know if you are lying, the examiner will prepare the questions according to the situation in advance and then place each sensor on your body. Sticking to the finger is alkaline sulfur. It can detect when you sweat when you lie and generate a weak current. Approaching a polygraph with a wire strapped to the chest is a stretch sensor. It detects changes in your breathing. The changed data is then sent to the lie machine. Electrodermal sensor is attached to the palm. It applies a constant voltage to the skin, mainly used to measure the change of skin resistance. On the arm are pulse and blood pressure sensors, used to measure changes in your pulse and blood pressure. This last one is a thermal imager. It works by monitoring the temperature change on your face. Sensors on will change the smallest change in your body, transmits to the server as an analog signal, converted to a digital signal by the host. Finally, it is displayed on the screen as a curve. If you lie, you can't get rid of them. CT scan is a miracle in the history of modern medicine. Unfortunately, most of these devices are still imported. CT can really see through our bodies. 
What kind of magic principle is this? The reason is the X-rays emitted by CT. X-rays cannot be seen with the naked eye. Rays can pass through matter. The density and thickness of different parts of the human body are different. Naturally absorb different amounts of X-rays. After digital conversion, high density parts like bones are white. Low density parts such as the lungs are grayish black. There is a difference between a CT scan and an X-ray. X-ray scanning produces overlapping images. Can clearly show fractures and other conditions, but affects the internal organs less. While CT, to some extent, it can be said to be an enhanced version of X-ray. When CT is running, it is rotating at high speed. Only in this way can the human body be irradiated and cut at 360. There is a light source on the left that illuminates the subject in the center. We cannot judge the shape of an object, but as long as the light source rotates 360 degrees around the object, the shape of the object is clearly seen. That's why CT rotates at high speed. Therefore, CT scans take longer than X-rays. This naturally also produces more radiation.